Hello, my name is Jen and welcome to the Book Refuge. Today I'm doing a quick little um, review with a few spoilers about Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett, which was one of just a couple um, contemporary books I've read so far this year. So this book is sold as Zori is um, now enemies with her used to be best friend Lennon. Um, they their parents own businesses right next to each other. Zori's parents own a um, masseuse slash um, like um, the needles acupuncture um, business and Lennon's um, two moms own a sex shop right next to them. And these two families have been feuding recently um, and so have the two teenagers. They used to be best friends. Something happened, dun dun dun, and now they are enemies. And um, through this, that, and the other, both of them end up on a camping trip together um, through like her friends and then his friends. Those friends are friends together and they all end up on this trip together and it's too late for Zori to get out of it so she goes along with it and um, push comes to shove some things happen and her and Lennon end up stranded out in this camping trip alone and I mean that was that was the premise that's what it says on the inside flap and I was you know willing to give it a go for this um, I you know so that that's the synopsis that's what this book is about um, now I'll tell you some of my non spoilery thoughts before diving in a little bit more because I do want to talk about the things I really liked and I need to spoil that to do it um, things that were great I love the outdoors I love practical camping um, in this story most of the kids going they go to this glamping site so it's like glamorous camping like there is showers and there is like attendants who help with different things and you get to stay in these bunk houses and it's really not the rough kind of camping that I'm not a fan of, you know, like, you know, wilderness and things, you know, not a huge fan of those. Um, and Zori likes that, you know, she doesn't really like camping that much either. She's really only going on this trip because there's gonna be this cool meter shower happening nearby. And if she goes on this camping trip, it's easier for her to go to this meteor shower with her other friend. And, you know, as she's going on this trip and is around Lennon again, she starts reliving the things that had happened to them before. And you find out that they weren't just best friends. There was something brewing between the two of them. And then this event that happened at homecoming the year before just blew them apart. There was no good explanation. Um, Lennon had, you know, done something inexcusable in her eyes and they haven't been talking and not only have they not been talking but her their families weren't getting along either so i just really kind of like that i like stories where there's things that happened in the past and they're slowly getting revealed but i don't always like that in contemporary because for me the thing that happens in contemporary usually is either something so like impossible that it couldn't have happened in a contemporary book and you're just like you're just using the contemporary name but really this like wouldn't have happened or else it's just the same everyday thing like someone kissed someone they shouldn't have or someone um stayed out too late past curfew and the parents got mad like it's these like really like little things that split people up and so that might be realistic but for me it's not something i want to read so what i really loved about this is that the thing that happened it's a little bit of a stretch, but it's also like you could see this happening and it having the effects that it does because the effects that it has on these two people and on their families are like life changing and devastating, but also just really real. Like this is happening somewhere and it sucks. So <laughs> I really like that when they finally explain everything, when they both explain their sides of it and you realize like, this was a legitimate reason for them to be fighting. It was also something that, yes, if they'd had a conversation before, they could have fixed it, but there's a reason why they weren't able to talk to each other, which I'm going to get into in the spoilers because it made me so mad, but yet it was so realistic that I couldn't, like I couldn't be mad because it was impossible. I was just mad because I was so upset for these two people that this happened to them, that they, this friendship was torn up and this could be relationship was pushed back. So, 
yeah also the things i like i like i said i like the camping part of it i like the experiences they go through there's a little bit of danger without it like it's not like a nail biter like i was fully sure they were going to survive and for me i felt like it was sold as like they might die on this trip like they, they were abandoned and they're going to die but really it is is like they end up camping alone and there's just those those feelings of them like almost being together as you know in the past as well as we need to work through what the issues are so that we can be friends again. And so I really like that. Like I was never worried they were going to die, but I was very invested in them figuring out their relationship. So that's gonna be all the non-spoilers because man, I talked for a lot for non-spoilers. <laughs> I need to get into some spoilers now. So here's your warning. This was Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. I loved it because her name is spelled the way mine is. So I was like, I'm gonna give this a try. And I gave this, I think I gave this I think I gave this a 4.5 stars. I'm sorry that I don't remember. I'll put up here what I really gave it um, because I think I gave it a 4.5 stars because I loved it. It was so good. So yeah, I'm gonna dive into the spoilers. All right, so a couple of the things that I wanted to um, talk about in the spoilers was Zori's dad is such a dick like he like here's really i'm diving in the spoilers here he's the one who messes up these two relationship so zori and lennon they're almost relationship zori and lennon when they are seeing they both like like each other in the past and they were going to start dating each other and zori's dad didn't really like her thought it was a little too rough didn't like her two moms because he's a little bit homophobic and not the greatest guy ever and um didn't like zori spending time with this with this couple that like owns a sex shop and spending time with their son who has access to all these things like he he's you know didn't really like that and on the other side he is a cheater big fat cheater he's been cheating on zori's um, mother who it's her adopted mother because zori's zori's mother died when she was young and then her dad married um, her mother and she loves her mother just like she's known her most of her life doesn't know anything else um, but she finds out pretty early in the story like before she goes on the camping trip that he's been cheating on her and she's afraid to tell because she doesn't want to get taken away from her mother and have to live with her her birth father and can't be with her adopted mother so she's in this predicament of she wants to tell her mother the truth but she doesn't want to get taken away from her so she's very hesitant to you know break that you know break that um but the reason that these two were torn apart is that they were having this great experiment where they had started making out with each other and um having dating inclinations towards each other and on homecoming they were going to go see her parents and tell them that they were going to be dating um, and Lennon um, wanted to make homecoming really special for her so he stole his mother's credit card and went to the hotel and was booking a room under um, he had to book it under his name and then he had to tell the clerk the name of the other person who was staying there for like that seemed kind of a weird thing that he would have to say who the other person was who was staying there but he did and it just so happened that Zori's dad walked in with the woman he was cheating on her with, cheating cheating with. And he heard Lennon say Zori's name. And so they got in this fight and he punched him and Lennon punched him back and they got in this fight and he said, if you tell Zori what you saw here, I'm gonna tell your parents that you stole, my, stole her credit card and that you did all these things and you're gonna get in trouble and I don't want you by my daughter. So to protect his secret, he told Lennon he couldn't talk to Zori anymore and that he was going to tell on him what he was doing, which is so manipulative because Lennon was 16 years old. He's a kid. Yeah, he took the credit card. Like, that is a crime. That's wrong. But to blackmail a 16-year-old with a threat of, like, getting in trouble for that, which is he's a sh crappy person. Sorry, try to keep these PG. He's a crappy person. So over this camping trip, the two... Um, she finally like Lennon finally tells her because he was like I wanted to get back with you but I couldn't talk to you and so he was supposed to show up at her house at homecoming and then he didn't because 
her dad had seen him. So to her, it was just like he'd abandon her and then he wouldn't talk to her afterwards. And then she started dating somebody else. So then even though he was like, F your dad, I'm going to tell you what happened. She was now dating someone else and he felt like he lost his chance. So it was the situation that was so frustrating, but it was also like, it felt so real. So you're, you're piecing these things together. Zori forgives him. She is, you know, so upset with her dad. She's going to tell her mother about it. Um, but these two end up getting left out there together and that's when they work through everything. And it was just so sweet. Like I won't go into too many more details. That's the main thing I wanted to vent about was her dad is awful. And this whole thing was her dad's fault. <laughs> and he like stole a year from her. Like he stole a year of their relationship from them which is like so sad, like I can't believe, you know, well, I can believe that adults would do that. They they do those things. And I mean, Lennon, he's a really stand up guy. He's so great. This book also talks about good, <laughs> which here's the PSA. <laughs> it talks about good, safe, safe sex practices. It talks about like, you know, communication and like how it's important. And I just thought it, it, it handled some good, like children to like, not children, teenager to adult, um, situations like when you're going from one to the other and just like what growing up like that you know should be and how you should have that transition and that you know um yeah and her dad's a jerk <laughs> it was mainly the thing but again and the camping was super fun there's a scary snake scene and also yeah lennon loves reptiles which makes him kind of creepy because he's a little bit little bit goth and he loves reptiles he works in a pet store and so <laughs> there's this one scene in it where zori gets bit by the snake and it's not a poisonous one or anything that's dangerous but he's like don't hurt the snake and he saves the snake that bit her and i was like this dude is a saint he's saving a snake who i would have like if it had bit me i would have stomped on its head and been like oh my god get me out of this cave away from the snakes and um there's some cute uh steamy scenes in a sleeping bag and in a tent and it was you know it had all the stuff i like because that's the thing too sometimes contemporary romances are just too i'm not saying it needed to be like x-rated but i mean kids don't perfectly well behave all the time you know there's some smoochy smooching if they were alone in the wilderness and they just rekindled their love there's gonna be some smoochy smoochy in a tent i'm just saying so anyway i adore this story again one final time it's starry eyes by jen bennett if you've stuck with me all this way thanks so much now go read it for yourself it was really worth the time i finished this in one night it was so good so it's really turning me back on the contemporary you'll see in my wrap up that i've actually read quite a few contemporaries this um this month not quite a few a couple and a lot of it was because of this one i was like i can give some contemporaries a try let's do it so anyway super excited thank you for joining me for this book review um leave your thoughts or comments down below if you've read this um tell me if you're thinking of reading it i'd love to hear what you think when you do thanks for stopping by and remember the book refuge is a safe place to talk about books and enjoy our love of reading